Hanak, Enoch, 97. The righteous are confident that sinners will be disgraced and perish in the day of iniquity. You shall yourselves be conscious of it, for El Elyon will remember your destruction, and the angels shall rejoice over it. What will you do, sinners? And where will you fly in the day of judgment when you shall hear the words of the prayer of the righteous? You are not like them who in this respect witness against you. You are associates of sinners. In those days shall the prayers of the righteous Come up before Yahuwah when the day of your judgment shall arrive. And every circumstance of your iniquity be related before the great and the holy one. Your faces shall be covered with shame while every deed strengthened by crime, shall be rejected. Woe unto you, sinners, who in the midst of the sea, and on, and on, rather, and on dry land, are those against whom an evil record exists. Woe to you, who squander silver and gold, not obtained in righteousness, and say, we are rich, possess wealth, and have acquired everything which we can desire. Now then will we do whatsoever we are disposed to do, for we have amassed silver, our barns are full, and the husbandmen of our families are like overflowing water. Like water shall your falsehood pass away, for your wealth will not be permanent, but shall suddenly ascend from you, because you have obtained it all iniquitously. To extreme maldiction shall you be delivered up. And now I swear to you, crafty, as well as simple ones, that you, often contemplating the earth, you men, clothe yourselves more elegantly than married women, and both together more so than a woman, and more colored than a girl, everywhere in majesty, in magnificence, in authority, and in silver. But gold, purple, honor, and wealth, like water, flow away. Erudition, therefore, and wisdom are not theirs. Thus shall they perish, together with their riches, with all their glory, and with their honors, while with disgrace, with slaughter, and in extreme penury, shall their ruachotot, rather ruachot, be thrust into a furnace of fire. I have sworn to you, sinners, that neither mountain nor hill has been or shall be subservient to woman. Neither in this way has crime been sent down to us upon earth, but men of their own heads have invented it. And greatly shall those who give it efficiency be 
execrated barrenness shall not be previously inflicted on woman, but on account of the work of her hands shall she die childless. I have sworn to you, sinners, by the Holy and the Great One, that all your evil deeds are disclosed in the heavens, and that none of your oppressive acts are concealed and secret. Think not in your minds, neither say in your hearts, that every crime is not manifested and seen. In heaven, it is daily written down before El Elyon. Henceforward shall it be manifested, for every act of oppression which you commit shall be daily recorded until the period of your condemnation. Woe to you, simple ones, for you shall perish in your simplicity. To the wise you will not listen, and that which is good you shall not obtain. Now, therefore, know that you are destined to the day of destruction nor hope that sinners shall live, but in process of time you shall die. For you are not marked for redemption, but are destined to the day of the great judgment, to the day of distress, and the extreme ignominy of your souls. Woe to you, obdurate in heart, who commit crime and feed on blood. Whence do you feed on good things, drink, and are satiated? Is it not because, uh, because our Adonai, El Elyon, has abundantly supplied every good thing upon earth? To you there shall not be peace. Woe to you who love the deeds of iniquity. Why do you hope for that which is good? Know that you shall be given up into the hands of the righteous, who shall cut off your necks, slay you, and show you no compassion. Woe to you, who rejoice in the trouble of the righteous, for a grave shall not be dug for you. Woe to you who frustrate the word of the righteous, for to you there shall be no hope of life. Woe to you who write down the word of falsehood and the word of the wicked, for their falsehood they record, that they may hear and not forget folly. To them there shall be no peace, but they shall surely die suddenly.